Hey guys, we are headed off to Pai today. We have just arrived at the bus station. Got here, there was no signage inside the, the terminal. We're leaving from Terminal 2. So we just had to wander around and ask people. We made our booking online and it's costing us 30 Australian dollars for a round trip to Pi. So that's that's a three hour or six hour round trip. So that's, that's pretty good price wise. Um, we are pretty amped to get out of the city. We do love Chiang Mai, but very excited to go to rural Northern Thailand and excited to take you guys with us. I also forgot to mention, apparently there are hundreds of wines in town on the way to Pai. So it's, it's very well known for the minivans to be stocked with spew bags. We have got motion sickness tablets and some ginger to chew on, so wish us luck. Because uh, it's going to be a very long three hours if we get car sick. After a three hour minivan ride, we've just made it to Pi. Lucky we got some motion sick tablets because it was like a non stop snake driving here. It was like girls crying on the minivan, people throwing up, it was hectic. Lucky for us, we just passed out for three hours and it went pretty quickly. I would have um, hate to see what it was like if we didn't have the tablets because even with the tablets, we felt a bit iffy. Yeah, it was a rough ride, but we're here now. Good morning guys, we are, it's now Saturday, um, we've had a night in Pi, we are off to our first little adventure of the day which is Pi Canyon, um, as you can see by our old mate's helmet, <laughs> we've decided to get a scooter while we're in Pi, <laughs> I can't take you serious with that. <laughs> Canyon's good if you want more than just a flat track. As you can see, like it's pretty high up. So there's a bit of climbing involved, but it just makes it a bit more adventurous and a bit more fun. But for now, we'll just keep wandering around and doing some climbing. We just went to Pambok waterfall, but there hasn't been enough rain for it to be cranking. It's pretty much 
just a little trickle down some rocks. Um, we're a little bit spoiled and we've seen some pretty cool waterfalls, so it's a bit of a disappointment. But there is also probably four or five, maybe more waterfalls in the Pine area. just drove about a K up the road on some sketchy little road to uh, the Bamboo Bridge which apparently is meant to be about a kilometre long and they built it for the monks to walk up to their bamboo temple. Um, unfortunately first thing in the morning the monks come and you can pretty much walk, watch them walk along the bridge to the temple and we're a bit late today so we missed that. Imagine being the lucky bastard that lives in that house and waking up to like, I don't know if the camera shows it, but like the mountains all the way over here and down here it would be unreal. So uh, I think this is meant to be like the Love Lock Bridge and you're meant to buy a little dangly thing and write our names on it and put it on the little log tree. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> oh. Just climbed up 353 stairs to come and visit the White Buddha Empire. Got the dark clouds behind it, like it's it's actually really, really cool. And this view is incredible. Not this view. <laughs> this is another one of those things that we read blogs and reviews to come at like sunset or sunrise, and we did the complete opposite. There's no one else here. It's a bit eerie because it's about to rain and it is like perfect. 